Welcome back to the fourth part in this bug fixes series and in this one we're going to add the validation to the change password form. Uh, previously how we implemented it, as you can see if we go to uh, change password, uh, we have this form and this form at the moment it does allow us to change our password but the problem with it is that uh, as I'm going to show you if you enter something wrong then you don't get any sort of instant feedback to say oh what exactly it was that was wrong. Uh, so let's go ahead and just enter some data in here. Uh, this is just random data and as you can see when I submit the form it just empties all the fields. It gives me a blank form but it doesn't show me whether my password has changed or not. Uh, in this case it hasn't because the uh, form data wasn't valid but I, I don't know that as the user. Uh, so let's go and try and figure out what is causing uh, the form validation to be ignored. Um, so I've sort of noticed whilst I've been submitting that form that I, I seem to be getting a whenever I do a post request I also get do a get request uh, so that leads me to think that okay so 302 it means a redirect which means I I may be presenting the form validation at the end of the post request but since I'm being instantly redirected uh, by doing another get request, it seems to be ignoring that. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the view, which is in accounts. Uh, so we go to accounts, sorry, not the templates, just uh, the main accounts app, and we're going to go to views. And so we've got edit profile and we've got change password. So change password is what we want to look at. And uh, so here you can see we're doing a redirect and if the form is valid we want to redirect to the view profile page which we're, which is just going to be this page uh, and that's fine that should work if the form data is valid uh, but in this case uh, the data I was submitting it wasn't uh, which means that it's going to go to this else block and do a return uh, redirect by the way the reason it's on two lines is just because my font size is quite big so it has to break it onto two lines but this is actually how it looks so it's just on one line but the problem is that it's going to accounts change password and because it's doing a redirect we're actually uh, after the post request uh, so it only runs this block when the form has been submitted and then we do an entire new request just specifically uh, when the form data is not valid uh, but in this case we don't actually need to do another request just to execute this, this else block we can simply render the template uh, in spite of that so we can just go and unindent that block uh, and that means we don't really need this because it's going to uh, we can comment that out we don't really need this because uh, if the form is valid it's going to do something different it's going to take us to the profile uh, view and if it's not valid then it's just going to uh, come down and do this else which is going to define form again which is going to be a blank form but because we've uh, got the form defined up here and it's passing in the data in from the post request this is going to give us access to the errors that we were submitting previously uh, and because we're not doing another request and it's not ever going to get to this else block uh, that means that the form here is going to be the same as what was defined here as opposed to what was defined here uh, that means that we should be able to render the form now uh, and pass through the error validation uh, just by unindenting this block. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to do my old password and I'm just going to type in something new. Uh, they clearly don't match so I should see some form validation at this point. So in this case we get the two password fields didn't match which is good because that was not there before and that's really helpful for us as the user to be able to figure out ah okay so I need to go ahead and retype that password uh, if I type uh, the password's the same this time I'll say password password uh, now you can see it's too common and the old password wasn't wasn't entered correctly uh, so this is exactly what we want, it really helps the user to be able to have that instant feedback which is quite obvious because otherwise they wouldn't know whether their password has changed or not. Now if I do go ahead and enter some valid data uh, I should be able to enter my old password and my new one and have it change and now it should redirect when I submit this form to the profile page. 
So that means we've submitted the form correctly and uh, our password has been changed. So we can just prove that by logging out and then if we try to log in, we can use the username and new password and it logs us in successfully. The only other problem that I see with that is that when you submit the form and you succeed, uh, on the profile page itself, we don't get any feedback to say, okay, our password has in fact been changed successfully. Uh, we just see a new page and we can't necessarily see that our password has been changed when that form uh, is valid. So we're going to look at that in the next video.